So in the last exercise, we asked you to come up with a way to describe the problem you're trying to solve in a way that attracted, that created emotional resonance with the investor. How do you do that? We're going to share with you a framework where we have six Ps, uh, which form the entire presentation that you're going to give. The first one is, what's the problem that you're solving? It could be that what you want to do is to solve global warming, and you link that to the changes that are going to exist in a way that's personal. It could be that you have a product or a solution that is unique and different and exciting. It could be that you have a team that's completely extraordinary for a particular problem. In most cases, what you'll find is as you play with these three Ps, that there's one of them that stands out at a completely different level from the others. And you should try creating passion with every one of these and then focus on the one that has the most strength for you. If you don't have quite that same power from these three things, you move to the proof or the process or the profit. So for example, you're setting up a new kind of retail store to sell smoothies. And by itself, that might not be really exciting to all investors. But if you have proof that says that 80% of the people who came there came back immediately, that could get really exciting. If you have a profit model that says that you're making 80% gross margins, whereas most retail stores operate at 30% gross margins, people get intrigued by why is this different? Why is this actually happening? If this was true, then what would happen? And the task is to take the P that's most powerful in your, in your message and amplify that. So you start with an unbiased observer and an unbiased listener. And for each of the different Ps, you give it your best shot of what is it that is really powerful about the product or about the people or about the problem that you're trying to solve. And you try and build a foundation around that. As you go through this process, you'll find that some messages resonate with certain audiences and some messages get, feel really powerful to you. And each time you do it, you will start to hone the message better. Today, what we're going to do in the next exercise is have you create this very short pitch around one of these three Ps. What's the problem? What's the product that you're creating for that problem? Or who are the people that you have? To guide you a little bit, I want to talk to you about a company called Kareem. So when they started up, they wanted to offer a service, Think Uber, in Dubai. If you think about that as a problem that they're solving, and you encapsulated it as Uber of Dubai, that's pretty easy to repeat. On the other hand, it doesn't have a lot of emotional resonance. You, know, you immediately go to your intellectual side when you think about that. The story actually was a lot more interesting than just being the Uber of, of Dubai. He looked at this problem as not so much how do I move people from point A to point B on an on-demand basis. He looked at it as the problem I'm trying to solve is how do I change the lives of a million people in the Middle East. How do I take people who are at the lowest rung of society, drivers in that society, and make them professionals? How do I create a different kind of world for these people? That has emotional resonance. It has the sense of there's a bigger purpose to what he's doing. And in the process of doing that, he's going to become the biggest employer in you know, a part of the world that's a sixth of the global economy. Now it's your turn. Take this framework and generate a problem hook for your pitch.